So Aerolink seems to be one of the hot words at the moment. Uh, it's all about a group of sensor manufacturers coming together and deciding that gone are the days where a sensor is just a transducer and amplifier to send the signal back to the PLC or the controller. Now all sensors have within them a processor of some kind doing the thinking. And why not make a communication link between I.O. points and the sensor to avoid any of that amplification or signal translation. With doing that, it also enables you to have remote access to the settings, have remote control within the device, so you can use the buttons. Through an I.O. device, you can use a web tool or a Ethernet-enabled laptop to be able to communicate to that sensor specifically. You can also write functions within the PLC or the controller to talk down to the I.O. to then send and change those settings there. In the case of our Impact and MVK, we also have the ability to do what's called IODD on board. This enables you to set the sensor up as part of the hardware for the PLC. And doing so then makes it a much easier, much simpler setup because there's only one point of configuration. With our IO-Link products, we have the Cube 67 range, which consists of a bus node or master, and then slave IO points. Now, if you maxed out the Cube 67 system, you can have up to 120 IO-Link master ports, which enables a lot of sensor configuration or a lot of IO expansion in the case of hubs. For me, personally, as a Christian engineer and background, um, that spare port is the ultimate flexibility. Customers regularly change what they want and what they need because as you've developed the machine or as you've started to build the machine, they've realized those differences in what they want and what they really need as it's going through. Having a spare port there enables you to plug in a smart sensor if required. It enables you to talk to a classic analog device and then convert through one of our adapters. Or it enables you to expand up to 16 digital inputs or outputs as needed in the field. We also have Impact 67. Now this is our compact range, so with the Impact 67 you get the communications, the power and the IO link ports up to a maximum of four, 2A type and 2B type. With this one, we are talking through IO-Link coupler. And with that coupler, you have great flexibility in having non-contact communication and power transmission. So with this hub down here that we can see is flashing, such as the MV67, we can then switch it over to the MVK, and then it's automatically uh, twinkled in and aligned to that for the IO communications. We do have another range called Solid67. Huge benefit of the Solid67 is that it has Ethernet IP and Profinet chips within it, so that using the rotary switch on the front, you can change communication protocol as needed. One of the great benefits of this for me is, again, we'll go back to my commissioning days, within the Ethernet IP setting, we have a web server interface so that you can actively monitor the real states of the inputs, the outputs, and the IO link rather than waiting for the software engineer to get to site before they found that actually some of the points may have been wired wrong incorrectly or done to the wrong part in the software. Using the web server interface, the, the installation engineers on site can connect to this and view the actual data, not just see the LED coming on and off as they flag the sensor. We have these in a 60mm or a 30mm range. With the 30 mil, this is ideal for attaching to aluminium extrusion profile or onto a robot head because it's smaller and more lightweight. The inductive couplers can also be used for standard sensors and that, that is the maximum air gap set there. We do have a front panel interface, it's not particularly to do with IO link, but it's on the same board, where we have power socket, RJ45, USB communication, and a placement to be able to fit your own RCBO within. Now that's not sold by Merchonic, that is completely down to sales to buy and it's completely universal so that you can buy that from anybody. With Merlectronic, we have the added benefit with these interface units of being able to print your company name free of charge as little as one off. So here we have the Modlite Pro. It comes in a 30mm, a 50mm or a 70mm 
diameter. We have a multiple configurations for the bottom so that you can have a glanded input or you can have an M12 eight pole connection. Now with the mod light, if you change the order of the stack, you don't have to also change the wiring or change the configuration through the M12. As green is on, it's always onto the green. So that if you want to have any strange assortment or change that, you don't have to go back in and do any rewiring. It then enables you to have a more flexible system. It comes with green, red, amber, blue, clear, or a buzzer. And the buzzer has two optional inputs to it for klaxon or consistent buzzer.